This is a DC power supply. It is a very important device for students and hobbyists in electrical and electronics engineering. It provides an adjustable and fixed voltage. It has 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, and an adjustable 3 volts to 26 volts DC. So in this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to build your own DC power supply from beginning to end, and I will explain each component's function, so let's get started. Welcome back. However, to build this type of power supply yourself, the components needed are 1. 220 volts to 12 volts times 2 transformer. 2. Bridge rectifier. 3. Press switch. 4. LM7805, 7809, 7812, and LM317. 5. 3V to 100 VDC volt display. 6. Vero board. 7. Capacitor. 8. 10 kilom variable resistor. So let's start it by soldering the connector port and the switch to the Vero board. And then the first necessary component for this project is the transformer. And note that the function of the transformer in the circuit is to step down 220 volts to 12 volts AC in two times. And the type of transformer I used is called a center tap transformer, for it has 12 volts times two. So I mean, I am using the transformer as a 24 volt. Guys, before we go to the next chapter, I have very exciting news for you. For a while now, I have been getting a lot of questions, such as how to know about solar and inverter installations, how do I know the right components for solar, where can I learn solar and inverter installations from, and how to start a solar inverter as a beginner, and many more. Well, if you are curious about anything like that, everything is now being revealed. And I'm glad to announce my full solar and inverter installations course, made in ebook format, is now available. You're going to be able to access everything I know about solar and inverter installations. Literally everything I've spent years learning is now being put in down in an easy to follow system. I lay out everything for you step by step. You can install solar inverters yourself, and you can learn yourself anywhere in the world with complete freedom. So if you want to learn this and start your journey today, just click on the link in my description below or in my bio. I am certain you are going to love it, so just scroll to the description or bio now and click the course link, and I will see you there. The other necessary thing we will need is the rectifier diode. The function of a rectifier diode is to convert the 24 volt AC to 24 volt DC. Now the next thing is the capacitor, and the reason and the function of the capacitor in this circuit is to filter unwanted voltage and to make the output stable. The next things we need are the regulator ICs, which are the LM78057809, 7812, and the adjustable regulator, which is the LM317. The function of the LM78805 is to give us a 5 volt stable and regulated output, and the function of the LM78809 is to give a stable and regulated 9 volt output, and also the LM7812 is to give a 12 volt stable and regulated output, while the LM317 function is to give us an adjustable 3 to 26 DC, which I use one 330 ohm fixed resistor to give the regulator IC feedback, and I use the 10K ohm variable resistor to adjust the output of the LM317.
and in the circuit, the DC volt display is to be used as a monitor or to see the adjusted output volt of the LM317. So thank you for watching to this point. If you think I have value for you in this, please smash on the like button, follow, and watch my other video to learn more about electronics. Have a wonderful day, peace, and love.